Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today we are going to play around with some brand new products that are coming out in January 2023. So I'm going to show you five different card ideas featuring one of the new celebration papers called Dainty Flowers. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have five different card ideas that I want to share with you that are just really quick and simple cards created with some of the beautiful new papers that are coming out in January. I also want to tell you a little bit about my paper share as well. Now the cards in this video feature the Dainty Delight stamp set from Stampin' Up! So this is a brand new stamp set that is coming out in 2023. And the cards also feature some of the Dainty Delight dies, which of course you can get the stamp set and the die set in a bundle starting in the new year. And of course, celebration starts in January as well with the launch of the new mini catalog. So this is one of the packs of paper that you can get for free with a $50 purchase starting January 5th. Now this pack of paper is just absolutely gorgeous. There's a variety of different patterns here on the front and of course they're double sided. So there are patterns on the back as well. But the two patterns that I want to focus on today are this big pattern with the oval florals and then this big floral spray. And then we're also going to focus on this particular pattern. So this pattern is just great for creating one sheet wonders, which is what I'm going to show you today. So with the launch of the new catalog, I'll be hosting another paper share and a ribbon share. And so if you grab the paper and ribbon share, then you will get a little sampling of all the designer series paper that is available during celebration. So, so this is what you would get, this little sampling. I cut everything down to six by six inch size just for ease in mailing and to make it easy for the paper share. So we're gonna focus on these two pieces right here today in our video. And so I'm gonna show you how I cut these pieces down to create um, the five different cards. So you can get five different cards from just these two pieces of paper. So before we move on, I just wanna tell you a little bit about my paper share. So my paper share includes all of the brand new papers. So it's a huge stack of papers here. And these are all the fun new papers that are coming out in the 2023 little mini catalog. And so there's just uh, so many fun little paper patterns here. So you would get a sampling of all the papers. Uh, six by six inch size is what I cut them down to. So you get all the pattern papers. And then I also put together a little ribbon share. So these are all the new ribbons that are coming out in the new catalog. So when you purchase the ribbon and paper share, then you will also get a stack of all of the new celebration papers. So this is the paper that we'll be using today, but there's some farm paper, which is really cute. Being from Wisconsin, it's really cute. And then there's some beautiful florals. And then there's some a pack of these subtle type of colors. Um, so just really a lot of fun papers to play with. So if you decide that you want to participate in my product share, you can reserve your spot now. And I will be placing the order for the product share, of course, when the catalog goes live. So um, get your spot reserved so that I know how many people I have in my product share. So a paper share and a ribbon share is just a great way to get all of the new pattern papers and all of the new ribbons at just a fraction of the cost. So you can find the link to reserve your spot in this product share in the description below this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to create these first two cards. And I'm going to base the creation of those two cards on my paper share. Because I cut my paper down to six by six inch size for the paper share, I'm gonna show you how to create these two cards with that six by six inch piece. So this is the piece that you will get in your paper share. And basically what I did is I just cut it in half at three inches. So each of these pieces are three inches wide. And then I just cut them down to five and a half inches. 
So it's three by five and a half. And, and then you'll have these little leftover pieces. These are just a half inch wide by three inches. And you can use these to decorate the cards on the front or on the inside. So I'll give you some tips for how to use those. Okay, so for this first card, we are going to just use these two pieces. So I'm gonna just set these other pieces to the side. And so the first thing I did is I just cut a three and a half by five and a half inch piece of old olive cardstock. And then I'm just gonna mount this three by five and a half inch piece of designer paper to my old olive cardstock. And then I just adhered this directly to my card base. So I'm just using white cardstock for the base of my card. And we'll just adhere this right down the center. The next thing I did is just took that little leftover piece from cutting off the top of, you know, this piece of designer paper. So this is just a half inch wide and it's three inches long. So it's the same size, same length here as this designer paper. And then I just put it right in the center here on the bottom, just kind of ran it across the bottom. So it's just kind of a fun way to use up that designer paper. And then I just created a little greeting. So I used one of the greetings from the set, but you'll notice that it has this kind of jagged edge here. So I just created that with this punch. So this piece is only three quarter inches wide and I just slid it in here and just added that little bit of um, texture or design on the edge. So the nice thing about this is you can use three different sizes. There's one inch, three quarter, and a half inch. So you can do a lot of different things with that punch. But I just added, you know, kind of a little ticket-like, I guess, <laughs> on the sides. And then I'm just gonna pop this up on the bottom of the card. And then of course, you can just add some ribbon and some little embellishments and you have just a really beautiful card and you can add some additional designer paper on the inside. So okay, for card number two, it's the same concept. We're gonna use this three by five and a half inch piece. This I'm just gonna set to the side. So I'm going to adhere it to a piece of old olive cardstock, just like I did for the previous card. So we'll just add that. And this time I'm gonna bring in some rich Razzleberry cardstock for the base of the card instead of white cardstock. So we'll just add this right down the center of the rich Razzleberry. And then I did a little heat embossing for my greeting. So this is just a three quarter inch wide piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. And I just did some heat embossing with some white embossing powder. And I'm just gonna show you how this little punch works. So you just slide it in the groove here. So this is the three quarter inch groove. You just slide it all the way in and then you punch. And then it just punches that cool little design into the edge. So now I'm gonna bring back my card and I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit with my scissors. So we'll just snip off that edge and then I just added a couple dimensionals on the back and then you can just pop it up right on the top of your card. So it's a pretty simple card, um, but it, the designer paper does all the work. And then you can embellish it and add a little bit of twine, um, however you wanna decorate it, and then add a little bit of cardstock on the inside. All right, so these are the two cards that I created from this one piece of six by six inch designer series paper. Okay, so the last three card ideas feature this piece of designer paper. So I really just cut it apart so that I could use the oval and then I can use this kind of half oval and then use this piece here um, to decorate a card. So I'll walk you through all the dimensions of these pieces and of course you can get all the information from the tutorial as well. Okay, so let's start with this card. Um, so I just used this big oval here to create a very simple card. So this piece measures um, three and three quarter inches by five. So I'm just going to adhere it to a four 
by five and a quarter inch piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock, just to kind of draw out the purple in this paper. And then I just adhered it to a white card base. And then the last thing I did is just add a little greeting. So I really just let the paper do all the work. So I'm just gonna add that celebrate you and I used that punch to create, you know, that little end on, on the side here. Okay, so that's really it. Just a little bit of twine, a couple little embellishments, and you have just an absolutely beautiful card. All right, for the second card idea, we're going to use kind of this half oval to just create another beautiful card. All right, so you're going to start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of the card. And then I just cut a one by five and a quarter inch piece of just one of the other patterns that are in this particular pack. And we will just adhere this to the left side of the card. Then I cut a two by five and a quarter inch piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. And that's just going to get adhered right up against that designer paper. And then this piece is just two and a quarter by five inches. So this is kind of that leftover piece from our designer paper. And so I'm just going to adhere it so it overlaps onto this piece, but leaves kind of a nice little matting. Um, so you can see that rich Razzleberry behind it. And then I just cut a circle shape. I used the layering circle dies and the stylus shapes dies and just created this little circle piece with my greeting. And this cardstock here is Fresh Freesia, which coordinates with the polka dot paper that I have on here. So I'm just gonna pop this up and we'll just put it right kind of in that half circle there. And that's it. And then you can just add a bit of twine and some little embellishments. And again, you have another beautiful card. Okay, and this last card idea just features that leftover piece, this little kind of one inch piece that I cut from that six by six inch piece of designer paper. And I just trimmed it down so that it fit the whole side of the card. So it's like one by five and a half inches. So you're going to start with a piece of white cardstock for the base of your card. And then we're just going to take this little one by five and a half inch piece and we're just going to add it to the right side of the card front. And then I just cut a quarter inch by five and a half inch piece of rich Razzleberry cardstock. And so I'm just going to layer that right up against this. And then this piece is three by five and a half inches. And so this piece is just gonna go right over that white spot. So it just kind of fills it all in. The next thing I did is just used one of the dies from this set just to kind of create this big long kind of vine. And so I just cut it from a piece of white cardstock. And then we'll just glue that down. Then I created another one of those greetings using that little punch. And this time I'm going to add a little bow kind of on the left side here. I have some dimensionals on the back, but I'm gonna add this little bow just behind my greeting. So we'll add our little greeting right about here. So the next thing I did is just cut a little bit of a floral spray from one of the pieces of designer paper. And I'm just going to tuck this underneath the greeting. And then I'm using some new milky dots to do my embellishing. So all of the cards feature these little milky dots. And so I'm just gonna add a couple of them on the card here. And that's it. Super simple and just really beautiful. Okay, so there you go. Now you have five different card ideas featuring some new products that are coming out in 2023. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video 
and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.